chapter 9, lesson 2 is now dividing by 10, 100, and 1,000, and their multiples. So when we divide, it's the same logic as when we multiply. The only difference is when we multiply, the numbers get bigger. So that's why we move the decimal place to the right. But when we divide, the numbers are actually getting smaller. So that's why we move the decimal place to the left. So again, uh, if it's by 10, move to the left once. If it's by 100, to the left twice. If it's 1,000, to the left three times. If we're dividing by multiples of 10, hundreds, and thousands, then that means we have to divide without the zeros first. And then at the end, move the decimal place over. Okay, if uh, a decimal ends with a zero, that means we can technically drop the last zero after the decimal. So um, those don't count. So example, if you have 0 0.50, that's just the same as 0 0.5. Okay, so uh, calculators are allowed. However, if your calculator says 3 times 10 to the negative 3, that means you need to move the decimal place here 3 times to the left. So 1 two, three. So some of the problems will be given in, if you put in your calculator, will be given in scientific notation. So you need to know that the negative three means move decimal to the left. Okay, so which means our problems will come from pages 23, 25, 29, and 33. Okay, so going over these problems, on page 23, it says, find the missing numbers. So I'm dividing, and what happened is from here, 45, it became 4. So that means I moved one decimal place to the left, so that means I divided by 10. Okay, here, it's looking for a number that when I move the decimal place, one place to the left, will give me... 39.14. So that means that would be 391.4. If I move one place to the left, will give me this. Okay, now when we divide, again, as I mentioned earlier, we divide as if there's no zero. So that means that's 15 divided by 3 is 5. But since there's one zero, I move the decimal place over one place to the left. So that means that will be 0.5, but we usually put a zero in front of the decimal. Okay, and in the next one, again, I'm gonna cover that. So that makes it 0 0.03 if I divide. But there's one decimal place, so that means that 0 0.03 moves one more place to the left, which means this is 0 0.003. So again, if it can't be done mentally, then we have no choice but to do the division. But we have to train ourselves how to divide these mentally because they're not very hard. Okay, so when we divide 308 by 100, this just means move the decimal two places to the left. So 1, 2 gives us 3.08. While here, it asks us to move three places to the left because it's divided by 1,000. 1, 2, 3 gives us 0 0.201. Okay, and the final set of numbers, this one I'll divide mentally. 9 divided by 3 is 3, and then 1, but since there's two zeros, that means I need to move two decimal places to the left, so our answer must be 0 0.31. Okay, and finally, for this problem, I'm gonna just divide because I can't do it mentally. Or actually, I could, but I'll just show. So this is 49.7 divided by 7. So that will be 7. The, de the decimal is there. That will be 49. Subtract. Bring down 7, 1. Okay, now we need to move two places to the left. So therefore, that will be 0 0.071. So again, the process for division is similar to the process for multiplication. It's just this time we're moving 
the decimal to the left. So if you can divide mentally, divide mentally. If you can't divide mentally, write it down. But if the calc if calculator use is allowed, then just type it up and then it'll give you the final answer. That concludes lesson two of chapter nine. See you in the next lesson.